my test. <laughs> Pepper and George are playing with Pedro Pony. <laughs> they are going to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> Pedro has slipped and lost his glasses. Nay. Where are my glasses? Without glasses, Pedro cannot see very well. Ooh. <coughs> George has found Pedro's glasses. Ooh. <laughs> Silly George. Here they are. Thank you. <coughs> Pedro, why do you wear glasses? I need to. The optician says so. What's an optician? My daddy is an optician. He checks that you can see clearly. How? Does he look inside your head? <laughs> he does an eye test. Shall I give you an eye test? Yes, give me an eye test. OK. Hmm, interesting. Close one eye and say what you see. I can see George. <laughs> Now close both eyes. Now I can't see anything. Hmm, can't see anything. Very, very interesting. I think you need glasses. Oh, do I? Yes. Pedro, home time. Bye-bye, <laughs> Pedro. Nay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Mummy, I need glasses. What? Pedro gave me an eye test. And I need glasses. I'm sure your eyes are fine. No, Mummy. When I closed my eyes, I couldn't see anything. But no one can see anything with their eyes closed. Oh. <laughs> What's this about needing glasses? Pedro knows all about glasses. His daddy is an optician. All right, Pepper. Let's take you to the optician for a proper eye test. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go now. <laughs> George, would you like an eye test too? No. <laughs> Pepper is at the optician's. <laughs> Mr. Pony is the optician. Hello, Pepper. Please sit down. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? I need an eye test, please. Of course. Put these special glasses on and then look at the chart. Mr. Pony is going to test Pepper's eyes. Can you read these letters for me, please? OK. Um... A, B, C, D, E, F. Good. Now these numbers, please. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. <laughs> and now these colours, please. Red, green, orange, blue, yellow, purple. Excellent. While I check your results, would you like to choose some glasses? Yes, please. How about these glasses, Pepper? They're funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What about these ones? They're too big. <laughs> <laughs> How about these? Wow, I like these ones, Mummy. Yes, Pepper, you look fantastic. I look fantastic. <laughs> <coughs> Good news. Pepper has perfect eyesight. Oh, so I don't need glasses? No. But I really wanted glasses. Oh, hmm. I suppose you could have some sunglasses. Yes, sunglasses. Here you are. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I hope it's sunny every day so I can always wear my sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Rock pools. Pepper and George are going to the seaside with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Pepper and George love the seaside. Oh, where's the sand gone? There isn't any sand on this beach, Pepper. No sand? But we wanted to make sand castles. 
Peppa and George love making sandcastles. No, no, George. Don't be upset. There are lots of exciting things to do on this rocky beach. Like what? When the sea goes out, it leaves little pools of water in amongst the rocks. They're called rock pools. And in every rock pool, there's something special that the sea has left behind. Ooh, I can see something glittering. It's a coin. Wow. Maybe it's a pirate's treasure. Ooh. Let's make a collection of all the things we find. Yes, we'll put them in George's bucket. <laughs> <laughs> What surprise is waiting in this pool? There's nothing special in this one. Ho, 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 ho! There's always something, Peppa. Look closer. Ooh, there is something. Yes, it's a crab. Ah! The crab is pinching Grandpa Pig's finger. Oh! Ouch! Naughty Mr. Crab. <laughs> Look, George. Mr. Crab is walking sideways. <laughs> George is pretending to be a crab. <laughs> Pepper wants to be a crab, too. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> pinch, pinch, pinch. Help! There are two naughty crabs trying to pinch me. Pinch, pinch, pinch. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. No! <laughs> shoo, 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 you naughty crabs. Go back to your little rock pools. Yes. Let's look in more rock pools. <laughs> what can you see? A seashell. Can you hear the sea in it? What do you mean? If you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea. Wow! I can hear the sea. <laughs> I love my seashell. George, can you find a seashell too? <laughs> shell! That's not a shell. Oh. Pepper's right. That's not a shell. George has found a fossil. What's a fossil? A fossil is the remains of an animal that lived long ago when there were dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Rock pools are such fun. Yes, they're fun for us. But not for this little fish. A fish? Where? Ooh. Poor little fish. She's trapped. Oh. Oh? The little fish says she wants to go back to the sea. Maybe you could use your bucket to rescue her. Yes. Peppa is rescuing the little fish in her bucket. Don't worry, Mrs Fish. You'll soon be back with your friends. Bye-bye, Mrs Fish. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love rock pools. Mr. Scarecrow. Pepper and George are playing at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house today. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Grandpa Pig. Papa Egg. Oh, oh. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Grandpa, what are you doing? I'm making a flower garden. Ooh. These seeds will grow into beautiful flowers. I drop the seeds on the ground. Then I cover the seeds with earth. Oh, where have they gone? The seeds have disappeared. That's strange. I'm sure I put some seeds here. Yes, Grandpa. We saw you. <laughs> well, they're not here now. Oh, well. I'll just have to use some more. As I was saying, I simply drop the seeds on the ground. 
A little bird is eating Grandpa Pig's flower seeds. Oi! Get off my seeds! So that's where all my seeds went. Into the little bird's tummy. <laughs> Two more little birds are eating Grandpa Pig's seeds. Oh, look! Ah! Shoo, shoo! What's all this noise? Granny Pig, the birds are eating all my flower seeds. So we're chasing the birds away. There's no point chasing them. They'll just come back again. Look. We need a scarecrow. What's a scarecrow? A scarecrow is a straw man that scares birds away. What a good idea, Granny Pig. I'll make one. Come on, everyone. Bye-bye, little birds. We're going to make a scarecrow. <laughs> this is Grandpa Pig's garden shed. There'll be plenty of things in here to make a scarecrow. First, we need two sticks and some string. We'll find them. <laughs> Pepper has found some sticks. George has found some string. Good. I'll tie the sticks together to make the body. Granny Pig has found some straw and an old sack. Lovely. I'll put the straw in the sack to make the head. <laughs> now the Scarecrow needs something to wear. Here's a bag of old clothes. Ooh. George has found a dress. <laughs> Silly George. Mr Scarecrow doesn't want to wear a dress. <laughs> Pepper has found a coat. Very good, Pepper. George has found a hat. Very good, George. Mr Scarecrow needs a face. That's right. Would you and George like to paint a face? Yes, please. <laughs> George paints the eyes and nose. Pepper paints the mouth. Fantastic! Mr Scarecrow is ready. Hooray! <laughs> the little birds are looking for Grandpa Pig's flower seeds. Look, the little birds are back. Don't worry, Pepper. Mr Scarecrow will scare them off. It worked. Mr Scarecrow has scared the little birds away. Hooray! Good. Now my flower seeds will not be eaten. Oh, Grandpa, the birds look very sad. Yes, they must be hungry. That's why I've brought this. What's that, Granny? It's a bird feeder. Grandpa, may I have some seeds, please? Come on, birdies. Lunchtime. Now the birdies have their own seeds to eat. Hooray! The little birds are happy again. <laughs> Pepper is glad that Grandpa Pig's seeds will not be eaten. But she is even more glad that the little birds will not be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her family are at the swimming pool. Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. Peppa is wearing her swimming costume. Hurry up, George. Everyone's waiting. George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> Peppa, George, let Daddy put on your armbands. <laughs> <laughs> There, George. Your armbands make you look very grown up. <laughs> now me. <laughs> Good. Now we can go in the water. <laughs> it is George's first time at the swimming pool. Why don't you put just one foot into the water? Maybe you should try the other foot. Maybe George should try both feet at the same time. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> well done, George. But you don't need to splash quite so much. Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> 
Richard, hold on to this float and you can practice kicking your legs. George, would you like to try kicking your legs? <laughs> <laughs> Very good, but try not to splash. Big children don't splash. We're very good at swimming. When George and Richard are older, they'll be able to swim like us. Won't they, Rebecca? Yes. <laughs> oh. Richard has a toy watering can. Stop it, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. Richard has dropped his watering can into the pool. Sorry, Richard. I can't reach. It's too far down. Mummy! I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <sighs> Hooray! <laughs> there you go. Well done, Daddy Pig. I am rather good at swimming underwater. <laughs> <laughs> the watering can is for babies. Can we jump off the diving boards now? Sorry, Pepper. Diving boards are only for grown-ups. Oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me dive. Silly Daddy. Your tummy is too big. <laughs> Nonsense. I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. Please don't splash us with water, Daddy. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> don't worry, Peppa. Don't splash us with water, Daddy. I told you I wouldn't splash. Clever, <laughs> <laughs> Daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. No need for my towel. I've got a special way of drying myself. Daddy Pig has splashed everyone with water. Daddy Pig! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Holly's holiday. Granny and Grandpa Pig are going on holiday. They are bringing Polly Parrot to Peppa's house so Peppa and George can look after her. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Grandpa Pig. Hello, Granny Pig. <coughs> Polly is very excited about her holiday with Pepper and George. <coughs> Hello, Polly. Ah! Hello, Polly. <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. <coughs> What's in Polly's suitcase, Granny? <coughs> this is Polly's food. George, can you guess what Polly likes to eat best? Chocolate cake. <laughs> no, not chocolate cake. Polly likes bird seed. Ah, bird seed! <laughs> Can I feed her, Granny Pig? Can I feed her? Yes. It's very important not to give Polly too much food. Yes, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Grandpa, can Polly come out of the cage? Yes, but you must keep all the doors and windows closed so Polly doesn't fly away. Yes, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Goodbye, Peppa. Goodbye, George. <laughs> Goodbye, Granny Pig. Goodbye, Grandpa Pig. Uh, goodbye, Granny Pig. Goodbye, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> would you like a cup of tea? Uh, would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> George has got Polly's bird seed. <laughs> George, that is too much bird seed. Polly will go very big and burst like a balloon. Pop! Uh, burst like a balloon! Pop! <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? Ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream, hooray! <laughs> oh 
dear. George has forgotten to close the door. Ah! Ah! Ice cream! Ice cream! It is Miss Rabbit, the ice cream lady. Hello, Mummy Pig. <coughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. Four ice creams, please. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> George, you forgot to close the door. <coughs> Polly will have flown away. <coughs> Don't worry, Peppa. I'm sure Polly is still inside. Polly's not here. Oh. <coughs> We've lost Polly. Grandpa and Granny are going to be very sad. <coughs> Maybe we should try the garden. Look, what's that? What has Mummy Pig seen in the garden? It's Polly! Hooray! Ah. But, Daddy, how are we going to get Polly down from the tree? Ah. Don't worry, Peppa. I'll rescue Polly. Come on, Polly. Ah. Would you like a cup of tea? Ah. Oh, no. Polly has flown higher up the tree. Oh, dear. Be careful, Daddy. Don't fall out of the tree like you always do. Don't worry, Peppa. I'll be very careful. Come on, Polly. Ah! Bad seed! <laughs> I wonder where George is going. George has got Polly's bird seed. Polly loves to eat bird seed. Ah! Ah! <laughs> George has got Polly down from the tree. Hooray! Hooray! What's that noise? Daddy Pig's mobile phone is ringing. What? Whoop. Hello? Oh, Granny Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Please, may I talk to Polly? Yes, of course. Hello, Polly. Are you having a nice holiday? <laughs> Hello, Polly. Are you having a nice holiday? <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bubbles. Pepper and George are drinking orange juice. <laughs> what noisy little piggies. <laughs> George, look at all the tiny bubbles. <laughs> I can make bigger bubbles. <gasps> Peppa is blowing bubbles in her drink. <laughs> Bubble! George wants to blow bubbles too. <gasps> Peppa, George, you really shouldn't play with your food. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> Peppa, if you like bubbles, why don't you play with your bubble mixture? Yes, my bubble mixture. George, let's blow bubbles in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa is showing George how to blow bubbles. First, dip the stick in the mixture. Then, take a big breath and blow. <gasps> Bubble! <laughs> George, now it's your turn. Dip the stick in the mixture, hold it up, take a big breath and blow. George is trying really hard, but he is running out of breath. Achoo! <laughs> George, you didn't blow hard enough. I know a way George can make bubbles. Dip the stick in the mixture. Then lift it up and wave it around. <laughs> Bubble! <laughs> it's even better if you run along. <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> George is having fun making bubbles. And Pepper is having fun popping them. I love bubbles! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, the bubble mixture is all used up. <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> Mummy! There's no more bubble mixture. Don't worry, Pepper. I have an idea. 
Mummy Pig, bring me a bucket, please. Yes, Daddy Pig. Peppa, bring me some soap. Yes, Daddy Pig. George, bring me my old tennis racket. <laughs> a bucket, some soap, a tennis racket. What is Daddy Pig doing? First, I need some water. <laughs> then the soup. <laughs> and now, the tennis racket, please. <laughs> Thank you. Now watch this. <gasps> Ooh, wow! <laughs> Daddy Pig has made his own bubble mixture. Come on, everyone! Be careful, Daddy Pig. Don't slip and fall. I'll be fine. Whoa. Are you okay, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. Wow! Daddy Pig has made the biggest bubble ever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. I've spilled all my bubble mixture. Now we can't make any more bubbles. <sighs> but we can play jumping in muddy puddles. Look! Daddy Pig's bubble mixture has made a big muddy puddle. Hooray! Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Look! The bubble mixture has made the puddle all bubbly. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy, bubbly puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy, bubbly puddles. Bedtime. It is almost bedtime. Peppa and George are just finishing their supper. <sighs> Daddy Pig. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm a bit tired. It's been a long day. George and I aren't sleepy at all. Can we play in the garden? But it's almost your bedtime. Can we play outside for just a tiny bit? Please, Mummy. Please, Daddy. <laughs> all right. But you must come in when we call you for your bath. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they get their energy from. Peppa and George are playing one last game outside before bedtime. Look, George. Lots of muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa and George are wearing their boots. They are going to jump up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> George loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Look! The biggest puddle in the world! What a huge big puddle! <laughs> Peppa, George, bath time! <laughs> Daddy, Mummy, we found the biggest muddy puddle in the world! I can see that. <laughs> Quick, into the bath. Oh, can't we just play outside a bit longer? <laughs> no, it's bath time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you and George feeling sleepy? No, Daddy. We are not even a tiny bit sleepy. <laughs> Pepper and George might not be sleepy, but I am. Me too. <sighs> Before bedtime, Pepper and George have their bath. <laughs> Pepper likes splashing. George likes splashing. Pepper and George both like splashing. <laughs> That's enough splashing. Let's get you dry and into your pyjamas. Oh, can't we just stay in the bath a little bit longer? <laughs> bath time is over. Now it's time to clean your teeth. Before going to bed, Pepper and George brush their teeth. <laughs> OK, that's enough brushing. Into your beds. Oh, I think our teeth need a bit more cleaning. When you're in bed, Daddy Pig will read you a story. <laughs> Pepper and George like stories. <coughs> when Pepper goes to bed, she always has her teddy tucked up with her. When George goes to bed, he always has Mr. Dinosaur tucked up with him. Are you feeling sleepy now? No, Daddy. 
We need lots and lots of stories. Daddy Pig will read you one story. Now, which book do you want? Um, the Red Monkey book. <laughs> OK, I'll read you the Red Monkey book. Pepper and George like the Red Monkey book. Once upon a time... <sighs> oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a Red Monkey. And this Red Monkey had a bath. And cleaned his teeth. He got into his bed. And soon he fell fast asleep. Good night, Red Monkey. Pepper and George are asleep. Good night, Pepper and George. Sleep well. <sighs> now Pepper and George are asleep, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are going to watch some television. And now it's time for the amazing Mr. Potato. I've been looking forward to watching this program. The amazing Mr. Potato is always ready for action. He runs fast. He jumps high. He never sleeps. <sighs> it is bedtime for Pepper and George. And it looks as if it is bedtime for Mummy and Daddy, too. Daddy Pig's office. Today, as a special treat, Pepper and George are visiting Daddy Pig's office. Daddy? <coughs> What do you do at your office all day? Lots of fun things. You'll see. This is the building where Daddy Pig works. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> yes? Hello, it's Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Can I press the button too? <laughs> of course, Pepper. Yes? It's me. <laughs> Hello, me. Come in. <laughs> My office is on the top floor. We have to go up in the lift. Can I press the button? I think it's George's turn. Press the top button, George. <laughs> Ooh. The lift is taking Pepper, George and Daddy Pig up to the very top floor. Wow! Top floor. Doors opening. <laughs> this is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Mr Rabbit and Mrs Cat work with Daddy Pig. I've brought two very special visitors with me today. <laughs> Peppa and George. What an honour. Let's begin the tour. Mr Rabbit, can we start at your desk? We certainly can. <clears throat> My job is all about numbers. I take very important pieces of paper, I take a rubber stamp, and I stamp the paper. Wow! What a great job Mr Rabbit has. Can I do some stamping? Of course. I'll just find you some paper. Here's some paper. <laughs> uh, maybe we should use some blank paper. Here you are. Pepper likes stamping with rubber stamps. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. <laughs> <laughs> On with the tour. Next up is Mrs Cat's desk. Meow. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello. My job is all about drawing shapes on the computer. Ooh. Then I print the shapes out. Wow! <laughs> and here's another copy. Thank you. What a nice job Mrs Cat has. Can I have a go? Maybe it's George's turn now. That's right, George. It's your turn to do some work. <laughs> George is making blue triangles. Now we print them out. <laughs> <laughs> I like doing Mrs Cat's job. <laughs> Do you want to see my desk now? Yes, please. <laughs> this is Daddy Pig's desk. My job is quite complicated. I take big numbers, transmute them and calculate their load-bearing tangents. Daddy Pig's job sounds very important. Do you use rubber stamps? No. Do you use a computer? No, 
but I do use colouring pens. Daddy, can we draw with your colouring pens? Good idea. <laughs> Pepper and George love drawing with colouring pens. I'm drawing a house. George is drawing a dinosaur. <laughs> George always draws dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! Five o'clock already. It is home time. I say, what a splendid picture of a house. And what a fierce dinosaur. George and I have been doing Daddy's job. And they've been doing it very well. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job and I like doing Mrs Cat's job. But I like doing Daddy's job the best. <laughs> <laughs> The boat pond. The ducks are swimming in their pond. They are very happy. Here are Pepper, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Hello, ducks. The ducks want some bread. Sorry, Mrs Duck. We haven't got any bread today. We've got something much more fun. Pepper has brought her toy boat. And George has brought his toy boat. Let's wind your boat up, George. George's boat works with clockwork. Quick, George. Put the boat in the pond before the clockwork runs out. <laughs> George loves his clockwork boat. Mummy, can you wind my boat up? Your boat doesn't need winding up, Pepper. Pepper's boat is a sailboat. The wind makes it go along. I don't like my boat. It doesn't do anything. That's because there isn't any wind today. Maybe it just needs a little help. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your boat along. Hooray! <laughs> it went really fast. Pepper loves her sailboat. <laughs> Here is Peppa's friend, Susie Sheep. Hello, everyone. Hello, Susie. <coughs> We're playing with our boats. <laughs> I've got my speedboat. Is it clockwork? No, it has batteries. Susie's speedboat uses batteries to make it go. Ooh. What a great speedboat. <coughs> Sorry, Mrs Duck. <coughs> Here is Danny Dog with Grandad Dog. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Danny. Danny. My granddad has made me this paddle boat. Ooh. I say, that's impressive. How does it work? It's steam powered. I just push this little lever. Wow. What a fantastic paddle boat. <laughs> Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her mummy. Hello, everyone. Hello, Rebecca. We're playing with our boats. I wish I had a boat. Rebecca Rabbit does not have a boat. I've got an idea. Luckily, I brought my newspaper along. I just need one page. Which page can we lose? News? Sport? Ah, fashion. Not the fashion page. OK, I'll use the business page. When I was a little piggy, I used to fold newspaper like this. What is Daddy Pig doing? To make a paper boat. Daddy Pig has made a paper boat. Thank you, Mr Pig. <laughs> George wants a paper boat too. Oh, oh, I suppose I can do without the sports page. <laughs> Please, can I have one? And me. me. <laughs> of course. Daddy Pig is making paper boats for everyone. Let's have a race. Good idea, Mummy Pig. We can huff and puff and blow the paper boats across. Everyone take a deep breath. <gasps> Ready, steady, blow! We have a winner! Uh, who had the sports page? 
<gasps> That's George's boat. George is the winner. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> I like boats and I like paper boats the best. Me too! <laughs> <laughs> it's time to go home. Everybody has had a great time. Bye-bye! Bye-bye, ducks. See you soon. The ducks enjoyed the toy boats, but they quite like having the pond back to themselves again. <laughs> Mysteries. Peppa and her family are watching their favourite television programme, Detective Potato. I am Detective Potato, the world-famous detective. Ooh. Ooh! Please help me, Mr Detective. I cannot find my flower anywhere. Hmm. Your flower is on the top of your head. Oh, thank you, Mr Detective. <coughs> that was easy. I could do that. <laughs> I'm sure you could, Pepper. Daddy, when I grow up, I want to be a famous detective. <coughs> George wants to be a detective, too. If you're going to be detectives, you'll each need a hat. Detectives always wear hats. <laughs> now you look like two proper detectives. <laughs> and we need one of those funny things that makes everything look big. A magnifying glass. I think we've got one in the kitchen drawer. <laughs> Here we are. A real magnifying glass. Wow! <laughs> How does it work? You hold it in front of things, and they look bigger. The magnifying glass makes the little fish look big. Can I have a go? Wow! The magnifying glass makes George's eyes look very big. <laughs> <laughs> now what you detectives need is a mystery to solve. Daddy, what's a miss story? A mystery is something detectives are good at sorting out. <laughs> Like finding things that are lost. I know. We can find George's toy dinosaur. <laughs> That's always getting lost. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is not lost. Oh. <laughs> what about your glasses, Daddy? You're always losing them. Oh, <laughs> not today. I'm wearing my glasses. It's not fair. There aren't any Miss Stories. <laughs> Would you like me to make you a mystery? Yes, please. <coughs> Daddy Pig is going to make a mystery. Now, what's on the table? The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. <coughs> That's right. Now look very hard and try to remember them all. The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. Have you remembered them? Yes. <coughs> OK. You just have to go outside for a moment. I'll call you when I'm ready. It sounds like Daddy is going upstairs. And now he is coming down again. All right. You can come back inside now. <laughs> One thing is missing from the table. Do you know what? Mr Dinosaur is there. Little fish. Jack in a box. So who's missing? Um, Teddy! That's right. Teddy's gone. Well done, Pepper and George. It was quite easy for us. We are famous detectives. Ah, but that's only half the mystery. Where has Teddy gone? Oh, I don't know. What are those little things on the floor? They're cake crumbs. The magnifying glass makes the cake crumbs easy to see. I wonder if Teddy has been eating cake. And the crumbs lead this way. <coughs> Teddy's been eating a lot of cake. The crumbs lead into Peppa and George's bedroom. Oh, the crumbs have stopped. <coughs> How can we find Teddy? Ask me some questions, but I will only answer yes or no. OK. Um, is Teddy in this room? Yes. Is Teddy in George's bed? No. Is Teddy somewhere high up? Yes. <laughs> Teddy's in my bed. Hooray! The mystery is solved. <laughs> oh, oh, do you still want to be a detective when you grow up, Peppa? Being a detective is quite hard. <laughs> Next time, I want to be the one who makes the mysteries. Like you did, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> George catches.
is it cold? Today it is raining a little bit. <laughs> Peppa, George, put your rain clothes on. When it rains, Peppa and George must wear their rain clothes. Yuck! George does not like wearing his rain hat. George, you must keep your hat on. Why? Because you must keep dry. Why? Because you might catch a cold. Why? George, do you want to play in the garden? <coughs> then keep your hat on. <coughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Peppa and George are going to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> Yuck! George does not want to wear his rain hat. <laughs> George! Come inside. The rain's too heavy to play in now. Oh, George, where's your hat? Achoo. George has caught a cold. Achoo. Oh, poor little George. You don't sound well. <coughs> don't worry. I'll ring Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. I see. Put George to bed and I'll be straight round. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. Goodbye. Will George be taken to hospital and given medicine? No. George just has to go to bed. Oh, so George is not really properly ill. Ah! Ugh, that's disgusting. <coughs> Poor George. Let's get you straight to bed. George, you have to stay in bed for a bit. No. George does not want to stay in bed. Achoo. George, you have to stay in bed until you are better. Why? Because you have to keep warm. Why? Uh, because Dr Brown Bear says so. Hello, where's my patient? <gasps> Open wide and say, ah. George is a little bit worried. Hmm, Peppa, you're big and brave. Can you show George how to say ah? Of course. Ah! <laughs> ah! Hmm, George has caught a cold. Does George need medicine? No, but he can have some nice warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. You're welcome. Goodbye. George has been in bed all day. Now it is Peppa's bedtime. George, are you better? Achoo! George is not better. Achoo! George, please don't sneeze so loudly. <coughs> <sighs> this is impossible. George, here's some nice warm milk to help you sleep. <laughs> the warm milk makes George feel very, very sleepy. Good night, my little piggies. Ah, it's so nice and quiet. <laughs> It is morning. George has slept very well. <laughs> George is better. <laughs> Come on, everyone. It's a lovely sunny day. George is wearing his rain hat. He doesn't want to catch another cold. Oh, George, you don't need to wear your hat. Why? Because it's hot and sunny. Why? George, can you stop saying why all the time? Why? <laughs> <laughs> George certainly is better. <laughs> <laughs> Foggy day. <laughs> Peppa and George are going to the playground today. Should we drive to the playground? No, let's walk. Look, it's just over there. The playground is quite close. <laughs> OK, let's walk. This way, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the playground. We're going.
going to the playground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where has the sky gone? Don't worry, Peppa. It's just fog. What's fog? Fog is a cloud that is on the ground instead of in the sky. Ooh. Hmm. It's very thick fog. I can't see a thing. Hmm. Maybe we should go back home. Yes, we'll go to the playground another day. Oh. It is too foggy to find the playground, so Peppa and George have to go back home. Now, which way is home? Are we lost, Daddy Pig? <laughs> Don't worry, I know exactly where we are. This way. Oh, who put that tree there? Daddy Pig has walked into a tree. Are you OK, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. This way. Daddy Pig, do you know where you're going? Yes, of course I do. I don't think we'll ever find our house again. <laughs> I'm sure we will, Pepper. We're only in our garden. <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Duck. Have you lost your pond? <laughs> We're lost too. We are not lost. I know exactly where we are. <laughs> See you later, ducks. Good luck finding your pond. Whoa. Oh! <laughs> Daddy Pig has found the duck pond. That's lucky. Yes. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, Mrs Duck says thank you. You're most welcome, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's find our house. I'm sure it's this way. Hello? Did you hear something? Yes. I thought I heard someone say... Hello! It's Mummy Rabbit with Rebecca and Richard. Hello, Peppa. We're lost. <laughs> Hello, Rebecca. We're lost too. We wanted to go to the playground. So did we. But it's too foggy to get there. Come on, everyone. Back to our house until the fog clears. Daddy Pig, do you know where you're going? Yes, of course I do. This way. Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Aha! I've found our little hill. We'll soon be home. Hooray! Our house should be just about here. Oh. Daddy Pig has found a ladder. That's strange. We don't have a ladder in our garden. Goodness me! Can you see where we are, Daddy Pig? Yes, I can. <laughs> Daddy, where are we? Why don't you have a look? OK. Wow. Wow. I can see everything again. The fog is going away. <laughs> We're at the playground. Hooray! Whee! We're at the playground. We're at the playground. Whee! <laughs> Well, that's lucky. But I thought we were trying to get home. So did I. Maybe we did get a bit lost, after all. <laughs> <laughs>